nation Israel is not one side. There are those who out who have asked. Listen, listen, brother. Listen, 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 brother. One thing with you, the Bible says. You, that's why you read Matthew 18, it says what? Unless you humble yourself as these little children, you cannot enter in the kingdom. You are here talking like a baby. You are a man, a matured man talking like a baby. You are, look at you, you are old enough to even be our father. But see the way you are talking like a baby. You are not talking like a man. What is your nation if you don't know? This one thing, listen, listen sir. Listen, you are a man that we give you we, you you make us disrespect you and that's not a good thing. You are making us disrespect you. See, no, the way you behave, you make me, I'm attempted to talk to you. Listen, you make me, I'm attempted to talk to you in a certain way that I don't want to. No, you humble yourself. Listen, 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 sir. Don't make, we don't want to disrespect you. We don't want to disrespect our people. But the way you behave, you make us, we, we will start disrespecting. No, listen, if there's one thing, if you don't know something, just say, I don't know. Very simple. Don't be saying things that is, I mean, make you, us look you like this little child. Listen, one nation, one nation is in the Bible. But the problem with you is, you don't know. We, since we start coming here, we are teaching that. We Cameroonians are the people the Bible is talking about. We are the Israelites. That's what we have been teaching from day one. What are you saying? What are you saying? No, it is everybody. That's what you are saying. The question I ask you, if we the Cameroonians are Israelite, my question was, is it that as you said it, we just begin to swim that we are all Israelite or there's the, since every journey has a beginning. Is this is this just how we have to start it? Or is there a starting point? There's a starting point. The starting point is this. You, the only way you can know that you are an Israelite is through prophecy. Prophecy. The prophecy is that we went into slavery. We were sold. According to the Bible, that are the God-chosen people the Bible is talking about. All those that went into slavery and they were sold are Israelite. Did everybody on earth went into slavery? When you read the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, 68, the Israelites will go into slavery with sheep and they will be sold as slaves. Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, how did black people went to America? Slavery with sheep. These are the Israelites. You are here saying no. Everybody can be. Did everybody fulfill that prophecy? No. Oh, brother. The last answer, my own answer, I know. Because first John chapter one verse eight says, if we say we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse nine said, But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And to me, that is the beginning of a relationship with God. Listen, hold on, hold on. What you are saying, right? You need to understand first of all what is sin. Sin is a breaking of God's laws. Who did God give his law to? Did God give his law to everybody? No. This is what you are not understanding. God only gave his laws to us. Wait, listen. Moses went up Mount Sinai, right? He came down with the Ten Commandments, right? Did Moses give that Ten Commandments to everybody? No. This is why you are not understanding. Who put us into slavery? Why people? Why are you here saying God love everybody? Chinese, Japanese, Arabs, every single one of them. The white man is your enemy. The Bible calls him your enemy. No, the white man is not your enemy. Wait, wait. The white man is not your enemy. Really? <laughs> That's our people today. The white man is the devil in the Bible. Now my problem. My problem now is that, okay, since Moses came down with the commandments and gave it only to the Israelites, I was not there. And you are the descendants. I, was I there? Was he there? Where, was anybody here there? No. We are the descendants, the children of those people today. Now, you have a son, right? Supposing you die, your son will inherit your house, right? Inherit your compound. That's the same thing. And after your son, his own son, after his own son, continuation till today. Brother, let's not be children in wisdom, bro. Now, do you have a player? Do you have a player? Let him give you a flyer. Give him a flyer. Yeah, we have to go. We have to go. Give him one flyer. Why did Jesus say that we should 
go, he, he commanded his disciples to go to all the nations of the earth. The reason he commanded his disciples to go to all the nations on earth because of this that you have in your hand. Because this happened. The Israelites went into slavery, into all nations. We are going to all nations, but we are teaching the Israelites only. Listen, you should be fighting for your people. Don't be one of those fighting for everybody. All right? We have to go. With this Israel, our people, they always want to, our people only want to save the other nation. This is a battle worldwide. Whether in America, whether in, in Europe, in Germany, in France, that we have been, in the United States, everywhere you go is one fight. Our people, they are fighting one fight. The white man. What about the white man? They want to save the white man. Everywhere you go is the same thing. This is a sickness in Israel. All the Israelites, they always want to fight, save the white man. The white man. Even right here in Africa, here in Cameroon. All they want is, what about the white man? Even right here, white people are not here. If they were living in the midst of white people, we would understand. But white people are not here, but they are fighting for them. Even right here. Go to Ghana, Sierra Leone, the same thing. It's a sickness. You know, I don't know our people that are built this way. They want to love. I know that.